Scientists say climate change could be fueling storms like Hurricane Ian. Storms like Hurricane Ian are only going to get stronger and more dangerous as the climate crisis progresses. Is there any doubt in your mind that climate change is to blame? The power and deadly force of Ian and the climate crisis. Tell us the impact of climate change. It is producing more frequent, more extreme weather events. You know, we get the whole climate change angle of this too. And it's increasing with climate change. Climate change looming in the background. You know, we, we keep having these hurricanes. Coincidence. Hmm. Could be. Could be not. Hurricanes are getting bigger and intensifying more quickly. Yes, climate change. Climate change uh, intensifying hurricanes. These storms are intensifying. These storms are intensifying. Something is causing them to intensify. A phenomenon known as rapid intensification. 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 Scientists say that will become more common as the Earth's oceans continue to warm. Climate change is making storms like this one stronger. How do you attribute that to climate change? Is that an effect of climate change? How does that dovetail with climate change? Scientists have warned us for a long time that storms won't get necessarily more hurricanes out of uh, climate change, but the ones we do get will be bigger and faster and wetter. And here is your exhibit A, Hurricane Ian. You lie! Except none of that is true. I know, I know, it's hard to believe. But the self-titled Defenders of Democracy are knowingly misleading the public when it comes to both the intensity and the frequency of hurricanes. No doubt telling themselves that it's okay when they lie because they're doing it for good reasons. By the way, most of the information for this video came from a Twitter thread by Michael Schellenberger. Make sure to check that out and give him a follow for his good work here. So take this Financial Times article by Amy Williams, which you can't even read until you take this marketing survey, the headline claims, like the rest of the Democrat Party state media, that hurricanes are becoming more frequent and intense due to climate change. Much like that NOAA scientist did when he shut down Don Lemon's anti-science disinformation, their website straight up says, after adjusting for a likely undercount of hurricanes in the pre-satellite era, there is essentially no long-term trend in hurricane counts. The evidence for an upward trend is even weaker if we look at US landfalling hurricanes, which even show a slight negative trend beginning from 1900 or from the late 1800s. This means the graphic posted by fake journalist Amy Williams doesn't show increased frequency of hurricanes, but rather the improving ability to detect them. So she's either knowingly deceiving the reader or she's incompetent. If she's incompetent, then that incompetency is reflected all throughout the media as shown on the intro montage and is yet another reason for that lonely 30% of people still trusting the Democrat state media to rethink their position. So as far as frequency goes, there's actually been a decrease. Now, what about intensity? The left, Democrats, Hollywood, the media, they all claim that these storms are getting stronger because of climate change. But once again, they're doing exactly what they claim their opponents are doing and spreading anti-science disinformation. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, quote, after adjusting for changes in observing capabilities in the pre-satellite era, there is no significant long-term trend since the 1880s in the proportion of hurricanes that became major hurricanes. The NOAA's conclusion, quote, we conclude that the data did not provide compelling evidence for the substantial greenhouse warming induced century scale increase in frequency of tropical storms, hurricanes, or major hurricanes, or in the proportion of hurricanes that became major hurricanes. In other words, they lied. They all lied again. And at this point, if you think that they're ever telling the truth, then you're legitimately insane or have a serious case of Stockholm syndrome. To make matters worse and even more nefarious than our media purposely lying and in order to solidify their power and control. We now have the UN Secretary for Global Comms saying, quote, you know, we partnered with Google, for example, if you Google climate change, you will at the top of your search, you will get all kinds of UN resources. We started this partnership when we were shocked to see that when we Googled climate change, we were getting incredibly distorted uh, information right at the top. 
So we, we're becoming much more proactive. Um, you know, we own the science and we think that the world you know, should know it, and, and the platforms themselves also do. Meaning the Orwellian-style censorship and silencing of critics like Michael Schellenberger, who might be a thorn in the side of their plans. Now, to be fair, I must also tell you that NOAA does predict a 5% increase in hurricane intensity, but also a 25% reduction in frequency. Have you ever read or heard a single news outlet mention that? In summary, weather-related disasters are declining. Rising human adaptation massively outweighs climate change, and Hurricane Ian was not unprecedented. All right, folks, that's all I have to say about that. If you enjoyed it and found it informative, please hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification button, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some frustrations. Thanks a lot.